Hello and welcome to Creative Change Workshops Week 8. Now this is the final one in our topic on homelessness. So today we're actually going to be using our imaginations a bit. Sometimes as we get older we tend to get stuck in reality and almost become a bit pessimistic, don't we? We stop daring to dream and why? We don't need to do that. So I'm daring you to dream again. Regardless of your financial situation or where your house at the moment, I just want you to spend some time imagining you had a magic wand. If you could create your dream house, what would it look like? Potentially, you could get a pen and paper and start writing and describing each room and the layout and what you would have outside, what environment it's going to be in. That's quite a good starting point for most people. If you're quite a hands-on person, you could start sketching out maybe an, a bird's eye view of the first floor, second floor, if you even have floors. You may have a tree house, you may have a mansion, you may have a swimming pool. The sky is the limits, literally. You could have a dream house on the moon if you want. You can have a kingdom in Atlantis. This is going to really depend on you and your personal likes and dislikes. As we've been sat in the pandemic, we've all been locked in our homes. Environment has really impacted upon a lot of our own mental health. But that doesn't mean that it has to restrict us forever. So today I am giving you permission to let your imagination run wild. And I'd like you to just kind of escape to this fantasy world. What would your life be like? in this dream house but you get to choose your medium for this week so whether that is a poem whether that is um, a written short story whether that's drawing painting or modeling this is just to give you some ideas really enjoy so here are some pictures of some inspiring buildings just to give you some ideas but i just want you to dream big there's no barriers Really go into fine details if you can. Maybe think about the garden. Would you have a water feature? Would you have a waterfall? So get inspiration from these. There's also plenty of images obviously on the internet. Get researching, get dreaming and create something magical. So as you can see, I managed to get my basic design done and I've done a bit of a colour wash as well. I thought I'd explain to you a little bit about the details here. So I've obviously got the mountains in the background and this nice sort of river running just at the front of the house and a little bridge over there. This is actually a water turbine. And the idea being that um, the water flowing down from the mountains and into the river via the turbine actually generates energy for the house. At the top, I've got a little terrace where I can have a hot tub, maybe have a barbecue and some seating up there. I've got a spiral staircase here and a swimming pool indoors, but with um, a very large glass panelled window so I can see out onto the lake and see the landscape. In here, I'm going to lighten this up a little bit, but it's meant to be kind of like a glazed igloo style room. So I can have my bedroom in there and at night time I can look up at the stars, which I think would be amazing. I want it to have this special kind of glassware 
I can see out clearly, but people can't see in, so there's a bit of privacy there too. I've also got a open plan fire down here, or a wood burner, and a little chimney up here, because I really like the idea of cozying around a fire. I really wanted lots of light in the house, so we've done these almost like glass walls that face out onto the river. Here I've got my living room, then I've got a little dining room here, and this is meant to be like my art studio area, so I've got a little easel and some artwork in the back. So I just do a bit of a close-up so you can see some of the finer detail. I've got glittery, shimmery watercolours, which has been quite an interesting effect. Here I've got some stepping stones, because I used to love going on stepping stones. Um, I went to Fountains Abbey when I was younger and would much rather do stepping stones than the conventional bridge. Great fun, great memories. I also like the idea of using local um, quarried slate, because when I used to go up to the Lake District there were some big quarries there and a lot of the houses were built out of the locally resourced materials which I really like. I also like the fact that it kind of blends into the background a bit, that kind of earthy rock stone appearance. So you can definitely see the shimmery effect a lot more as I do this close up. But yeah, so I'm very excited to see what you guys come up with. And who knows, maybe one day this may be my home sweet home. You never know. Even though this is quite a simple sketch, I just have really enjoyed imagining and just transporting myself in this kind of escapism kind of way to this fantasy land really and it's been brilliant. Now I remember the other week I said that I have this habit of never knowing when to finish a piece of art and I think this is a prime example of me carrying on when I should have stopped earlier. I got very carried away and I got hold of my oil pastels which I do love and so I added quite a lot more colour um, and some different style mediums to it and it's taken a totally different direction. I still like it but basically what I'm trying to say is if it goes wrong don't worry and just enjoy the process and I still like it anyway but you'll know what I mean. Good luck! I'd love to see your work. Please can you email in to info at hannaharia.com and we'll be able to show your work on our live streams next week. Enjoy creating.